today's Christianity, there is a lot of uh, confusion, there is a lot of uh, 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 misunderstanding about faith and uh, works. There are churches divided, in fact, if at all I have to tell clearly. The churches are divided based on uh, some people uh, understanding, saying that like, you know, uh, even works are very essential as part of the salvation. Um, not only faith, but even we need to have works. So, a uh, lot of churches say like, you know, faith plus works. So, uh, it is not just faith, but it is faith plus works. Some say only faith, some say only work, some say faith plus works in order for a person to have salvation. What's the biblical teaching about uh, uh, the salvation? How are we saved? Is it only by faith or by works or by faith and works? Before getting there, what I would do is, I'll just try to explain you the definitions first actually. We need to have a correct definitions before uh, we uh, go and understand. What is faith? So if you see in Hebrew 11.1, 1, what is faith? Uh, the scripture says here, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and in assurance about what we do not see. So the definition of faith is something which we believe that something is true in spite of we don't see it, that particular thing. So when we, as a Christianity, we have a hope. We have a hope, right? We believe in the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. We believe that Jesus came as a savior. Jesus redeemed us from our sinful nature. He died and rose again. And uh, we believe that his resurrection was 100% true. And that is the hope what we have and we also believe that when we die, we also raise again. That is the hope, that is the belief, what we have, what Jesus accomplished, even we tend to accomplish the same. That is called the faith, the faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. And then what are works? The works is the result of the faith what we tend to put upon. We have a belief on the Lord Jesus Christ that through, through Jesus Christ's death and resurrection, we have salvation. Based on this belief, we tend to manifest some works. When we believe that Jesus' death and resurrection is true, then we tend to perform some actions. Those are called works. Example, loving one another, encouraging one another, hospitable will one another, and great commission, evangelism. Why do you think all the missionaries, when they are doing this missionary, why do you think they are doing? They hope, they believe, they believe that whatever Jesus has accomplished is true. Based on that belief, based on that faith, they tend to perform those actions. Those actions are nothing but the works. So, with this background, I, ho I hope you understood. Faith is something on what we believe, that something is true. And based on that, we have a hope. There is nothing but belief or faith. And actions or works are nothing but based on what we believe, what we have faith, we tend to perform the actions. That is called works. With this, let us get into the scriptures. Titus 3.5 He saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of the rebirth and renewed by the Holy Spirit. So, what is the scripture telling Titus 3 verse 5? He saved us not because of the righteousness things we had done. Means, he is telling, Titus is telling, God saved us not because of our works. Okay? Let us go to next scripture, Romans 11.6. And if by grace, then it cannot be based on works. If it were, grace would no longer be grace. Right? Paul is telling, and if it is by grace, that it cannot be based on works. If you say it is based on works, then it is not grace. That is what Paul is telling. Either it is grace or it is works. We need to understand here, there is a danger here 
the moments we say if it is works then paul is telling there is no more grace then what is the purpose of jesus christ coming and manifesting in the form of grace the god's grace to redeem us the total purpose of jesus coming and dying itself is defeated the moment we say works okay next scripture second timothy 19 he saved us and called us to a holy life not because of anything we have done but because of his own purpose and grace <coughs> what is timothy telling he saved us and called into our holy life eternal life not because of anything which is within us so there is how can we do how can we do good works without being christ part of our life because we have adam sin in us we are by nature living in the stress passes and sin when we ourselves our entire body every member of our body no matter it is our eyes no matter it is our tongue it is our mouth hands legs our thoughts anything when everything is sinful how can you do good works because we are sinful people and the moment we say it is because of our good works then we are surpassing and we are condemning the grace of god that is what timothy is telling next romans 3 24 and all of us all here it is not only christians but all all those who put trust in christ jesus and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by christ jesus so how are we justified all are justified by his grace again right so by grace through the redemption the work which jesus christ has performed okay and if you see the same romans uh, 328 also he did it to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time so so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in jesus christ so what are we supposed to have we are supposed to have only faith in christ jesus right let us see another two more scriptures galatians 2:16 know that a person is not justified by the works of the law anything which is the action the works what we tend to do these are nothing but under the law the moment we bring the works then you are living under the law but not the grace okay that is what paul is telling know that the person is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith in christ jesus so it is not works it is the faith in lord jesus christ what he has accomplished on the cross it is all about jesus coming as uh, dual nature his godly nature and his manly nature and then he took the sin of this entire mankind unto himself he died and he rose again and he has given he has given the hope of the resurrection that is the faith what we are supposed to have on our lord jesus christ okay and then let us see the same galatians 2 21 I did not set aside the grace of God for if righteousness could be gained through the law Christ died for nothing See how dangerous scripture it is if anyone is telling that if good works are part of the salvation then what we are do- telling is Jesus Christ death is of no use for me Now you tell me all of you if anyone is believing that salvation is a combination of both faith in lord jesus christ and also good works then you are insulting the death of lord jesus christ the purpose of god the father to send jesus christ to take the sin of this entire mankind is in vain 
The purpose of Jesus Christ's death is in vain. The purpose of God the Father's plan where Jesus is the manifestation of grace. What is grace? What is the grace of God? We know we have one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And in this, what is grace? The grace is nothing but the physical coming of Lord Jesus Christ. The manifestation of grace is in the form of Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ coming into this earth itself is the manifestation of God's grace. The moment you say works, then it is not me who is telling it. It is the scripture very dangerously telling Galatians 2, 21 that Christ died for nothing. The moment if you say works, then again, very important again similar scripture. Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. Uh, you just see from 8 to 10. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourself. So how are you saved? You are saved by grace. Who is the manifestation of grace? The Lord Jesus Christ and the belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. So through that you are saved and not by yourself. The moment you say the works not under the grace and it is the gift of God not by works. So that no one can boast. So God's purpose of salvation is through grace. Uh, through grace you have been saved through faith not in our works. God doesn't want us to boast that it is because of my good works I have been saved. That I do not want to give any credit of salvation to you. The moment I give credit of salvation to you, you are going to boast about yourself. Did we see this here? So, what are we concluding here with this? This is the first section of it. What I try to prove is, we have been saved by God's grace through faith and no more of any work. The moment we say, it is because of my works, we are saying, that I still want to live by the law and we are insulting the coming of Lord Jesus Christ and Galatians 2.21 very clearly told the death of Christ is of no value the moment you say it is because of works.